At 714, February is American Heart Month. Stroke is the fifth leading cause of death in the United States, and heart disease, stroke, and other cardiovascular diseases are among the most widespread and costly health problems facing millions of people. Toro Internal Medicine physician Dr. Skylar Williams is here to explain what we can do to prevent heart disease. Dr. Williams, good morning. Thank you for being with us as always. Hey, good morning. Thanks for having me. So let's start off with uh, this, Dr. Williams. What is it that causes stroke and heart attack? Yeah, well, both heart attacks and strokes are caused by problems within the blood vessels of the body called arteries. A heart attack occurs when there is a blockage in one or multiple blood vessels that supply the muscle of the heart. Um, when blood flow is diminished to the heart muscle, um, significant damage occurs, which results in a heart attack. Strokes, I'll mention, can occur in a few different ways, but definitely the most common way is also by a blockage in the blood vessel that supply, supplies the brain. Um, both heart attacks and strokes are medical emergencies, and if blood flow is not restored quickly, serious health problems can result. Dr. Williams, let's talk about who is most at risk for having a heart attack or a stroke. Oh, this is such a great question um, because so many of the risk factors for heart attacks and strokes are very similar. Mm -hmm. um, there are some risk factors that are modifiable, which I always emphasize with patients. These are things that are within your realm of control, and that's whether you smoke, um, whether you have high cholesterol, whether you have high blood pressure, and if you have a history of diabetes. Um, some risk factors are not quite as, as easily controllable, and these include genetic risks as well as a family history of heart disease particularly at a young age. Dr. Williams we are in in heart heart month right now here in the United States uh, but in South Louisiana for the next few days people are going to be out and about on the parade route celebrating with family and friends uh, but you'll have eyes on each other so what can and what should people be looking out for because unfortunately a medical emergency like a heart attack or stroke could happen on a parade route what should you look out for in yourself and the people around you and then what should you do if you start to see those signs and symptoms? Yeah, it's so critical to be aware of the symptoms of both strokes and heart attacks. So if when you're evaluating someone for possible stroke, what we're looking for is signs of balance issues, speech changes, and some facial drooping perhaps on one side of the face versus the other. Um, a heart attack can sometimes be a little bit more difficult to spot, but if you're noticing someone is sweating more, um, feeling nauseated, and, and it says that they're having pressure on their chest, those are signs of a heart attack and, and when someone, a medical professional, really needs to be involved. And Dr. Williams, just to clarify, some of those signs and symptoms, unfortunately, uh, might manifest if people are not eating properly uh, or, or drinking too much alcohol, but is it the, the how, how quickly those symptoms would set in? So like that facial drooping or that speech change or uh, that pressure, the excessive sweating, if it happens rapidly, is that when you should kind of start asking some questions and looking for medical help along the route, let's say? Yeah, it, it, it really depends on the person's like health factors and history, but if you're noticing someone that has a significant change from their usual um, and that happens rapidly, it's time to get an emergency professional in to help. You know, the, unfortunately, as you mentioned, some of these symptoms can mimic other things, mm -hmm. but it's always best to get someone involved if you ever have questions. Well, Dr. Williams, we appreciate your time this morning. Some good reminders, uh, as always, uh, for paying attention to the signs of stroke and heart attack. We appreciate your time this morning. Yeah, thanks for having me again.